treasure hunting in New York. Albany was discovered in 1609 by Henry Hudson, where Fort Nassau and Dutch settlements fortified trading posts and warehouse. The warehouse was built in 1614 on Castle Island, known today as Westerio Island. A massive influx of colonists from Denmark, Germany, Holland, Norway, and Scotland arrived and built Fort Orange in 1619. More people came and occupied the village of Beverwick, the area surrounding Fort Orange. British forces captured Beverwick and renamed it Albany in 1664. In 1777, the British attacked the hilltop military post on State Street called Fort Frederick, opposite Fort George, which was situated on the same street at the foot of the hill. A colonial hospital where injured patriots who fought in the revolution stood at the corner of Large and Pine Streets. The surrounding region is home to many historic ruins of the 17th and 18th centuries. Bear Mountain. Bear Mountain is located on the Hudson, where the U.S. 9 W. Washington County connects to the Palisades Interstate Parkway. It's still home to the remains of two forts conquered by the British during the Revolutionary War. War Fort Montgomery and Fort Clinton. Bennington Battlefield, the site of the famous August 14, 1977 battle between the Patriots and British, is located close to Wallumsa, Washington County, on New York 67th. Battlesbury Mansion. This historic home of the infamous Tory Raiders John and Walter Butler still exists after being built in 1742 in the vicinity of Fonda in the Mohawk Valley on Schweitzer Hill. The father and son British loyalists plundered many Patriot settlements in Mohawk Valley and amassed many spoils. They escaped to Canada before the end of the war, but not without burying at undisclosed locations near the mansion an immense amount of loot from their pillaging. Mohawk settlements. A total of 16 villages called Indian castles located in the Mohawk Valley, Montgomery County, was owned by the Mohawks from 1580 to 1666. In 1666, all these villages were burned, save the one situated in Oresville. Four castles were built as replacements, but these two were burned in 1693, which contributed to the considerable reduction of the Indian population. The exact location of the original castles is unknown. Still, three have been determined as existing villages near Indian Castle, Fort Hunter, and Fort Plain that once existed at the time of the revolution. Continental Village. This village is two miles north of Gallows Hill Road, Putnam County, somewhere further up north of Peekskill, from 1777 to 1781. It was used as a, as a camp and supply center by the Patriots during the Revolutionary War. Crown Point Campsite is situated in Essex County near the west end of Lake Champlain Bridge. This campsite is where the French built Fort Frederick in 1731 but they had it blown up themselves at the arrival of British armed forces. The British had to construct Fort Crown a little further inland as a result, which unfortunately accidentally burned in 1773. 
This campsite that the Patriots and British occupied during different times of the Revolutionary War can be found near the remnants of the said fort. Dobbs Ferry Site on the Hudson River, the former primary crossing point of the Lower Hudson, is located on the Dobbs Ferry, Westchester County. Much of the shoreline has changed with times, but the area still has many recoverable Revolutionary War artifacts. Schulerville. This is the location of the 50-acre open field on the west bank of the Hudson, situated past New York 29, west of US 5 Saratoga County, by a few hundred feet. After the historical Battle of Saratoga, this field was used as the site where 6,300 of the remaining British forces surrendered on October 17, 1777. This historical battlefield still contains many authentic relics from the Revolutionary War. If you enjoyed this program, please like it, subscribe it, and share it. Fishkill Landing is located opposite of Newburgh near US 9 Dutchess County, on the east bank of the Hudson. The ruins of Fort Hill, a garrison used by the Patriots during the Revolutionary War, can be found here. Fishkill Village is located by the intersection of US 8 and I-84 Dutchess County. An estimated five miles east of Fishkill Landing, a village founded by the Dutch here sometime in 1700s, was used as the central military depot by the Patriot contingent during the Revolutionary War. Many old homes and campments and campments and other earthworks from the year can still be found here. Fort End on US 4 Washington County is situated almost halfway between Fort Edward and Whitehall. Some minor skirmishes during the Revolutionary War were fought here where colonial and revolutionary wooden forts were constructed. The northernmost edge of the village is still home to Fort Ann's ruins. Fort Dayton built by Palatine German settlers in 1722, can be found by New York 28, somewhere near its juncture with US, A US 90. Oswego County, at the edge of a town known as Hekimo. Remains of the stone fort and few colonial homes can still be found here. Fort Delaware was built circa 1750 and is situated on New York 97, Sullivan County, north of Narrowsburg. The Delaware River has ended, has eroded this site. Fort Edward is located on the Hudson River on Rogers Island, close to New York 197. Saratoga County. It's connected to the modern Fort Edward village. Fortifications were built by the British here in different years, namely 1709, 1731, 1744, and 1757. The British and Patriots took turns using this as an encampment site during the Revolutionary War. Fort Hunter, built at the undetermined early date by the Dutch, was a settlement where the Mohawk and Skohani valleys met and was used as a military post during the French and Indian Wars due to its location. Fort Hunter and the other nearby buildings were stripped of their stones for the Erie Canal's construction in 1820. Some of the fort's remnants can still be seen at the site. Fort Clark can be found east of St. Jonesville, Montgomery County, specifically on New York 5 in the Mohawk Valley. 
Although it is old, having been constructed in 1750 to function primarily as a trading post, much of it still stands today. The Patriots and Redcoats fought nearby east of this fort on October 19, 1780. Fort Niagara is situated near Youngstown, Niagara County on Lake Ontario at the mouth of the Niagara River. A French fort was built here in 1726, rebuilt in 1770 by the British to serve as their military outpost during the Revolutionary War. Captured in 1783 by the Americans and subsequently reclaimed by the British in 1813 in a hard-fought battle. So you can just imagine the uh, war relics there. It was recaptured in 1783 by the Americans and subsequently reclaimed by the British in 1813. Fort Niagara has been restored and many artifacts from the 17th and 18th centuries are still waiting there to be discovered. If you enjoy this program, please like it, subscribe it and share it.